2611 mastermind Hafiz Saeed banned outfits are engaged in flood relief work in Pakistan. In fact, one such radical wing of Hafiz Saeed, Fala e Insaniyat, is engaged in relief work at uh, Chaparar locality of Sialkot, which is just 1.5 kilometers from the Indian border. Headlines today has obtained these exclusive images of the relief camp um, along the Indian border. Interestingly, the outfit headed by the 2611 attack mastermind is seen working with personnel of Pakistan Army. Fala Insaniyat is banned outfit in Pakistan and considered to be a front for lashkar e -Toyba. The operation comes days after Hafiz Saeed was caught on camera openly roaming across the Indian border in Rajasthan and exhorting local residents to join anti-terror in anti-India activities. The Pakistan flood victims deserve a relief. Security experts say that uh, Saeed's presence just across the border indicate to a larger conspiracy by Laskar and its backers in the Pakistan army. The militants may attempt to take advantage of this situation. However, let me assure you that Indian Army is always prepared in order to tackle a situation of this kind and also tackle these uh, people who are trying, who may try to create a problem for us. What is uh, Hafiz Said thinking and all that is available in the you know open um, media? But uh, my personal view is that people like Hafiz Said are not going to uh, let people rest in peace. They will continue to create trouble on the line of control as well as try to infiltrate more of these terrorists into our territory. Let me go across uh, to Gaurav Savant, editor of Strategic Affairs. Uh, Gaurav, uh, my first question to you. How do you think Hafiz Saeed is likely to exploit this flood situation, this natural calamity? He's just 1.5 kilometers across the Indian border. From what sources have told headlines today, Hafiz Mohammed Saeed's cadres, Lashkar cadres, uh, there is a build-up that has been noticed both north and south of Pir Panjal, especially after the first spate of floods uh, uh, early this, this month. Uh, what sources are telling us that they're trying to take advantage of the situation. If you recall, Ankit, there was an incident uh, of uh, four terrorists being killed in the Kupwara sector at the line of control just last week. Mm -hmm. And they were trying to take advantage of the flood situation and try and sneak across. Uh, as the, uh, the co-commander of the Nagrota Corps was telling uh, our viewers, uh, the army has increased its presence along the LC uh, just to ensure that terrorists don't try to sneak across. But this is the situation that terrorists try to exploit and Hafiz Mohammed Said, along with the Pakistan army and that is very critical. Hafiz Mohammed Said operates in tandem with the Pakistan army regulars and that is what they are trying to do is take advantage of the situation, sneak across and create a situation not just at the LC but in depth areas and built up areas like Srinagar, like Anantanag, like Kupwara in Jammu and Kashmir. Gaurav, uh, you know, uh, these pictures are uh, very clear. They are a proof uh, uh, on themselves. His organization, Fala e Insania, that is a banned organization even in Pakistan. And the Pakistan army is doing business uh, with Hafiz Saeed's uh, uh, Lashkar Toiba front. Shouldn't India be taking it up at a larger level? India repeatedly has taken it up, but you're absolutely right. It needs to be taken up again and again and again. Uh, the fact that lashkar e taiba jamaat ud dawa and then this so-called Falayat and Saniyat, it may be banned on paper uh, by the UN, by the US, uh, but Pakistan army continues to fund and train these cadres. And this is very fertile hunting ground uh, mm -hmm. for Hafiz Mohammed Said. Whether it's a flood situation, an earthquake situation, any natural calamity is fertile hunting ground. They pick up orphans, they pick up others uh, who, uh, you know, they can train, uh, motivate and then use them as terrorists. It's just cannon fodder as far as the Pakistan uh, army and these terror organizations are concerned. Stay, um, yeah. And in, in India very clearly should tell Pakistan as long as this continues, there can be no talks. But this is a this is clear and present danger Absolutely. as far as India is concerned. Stay on, stay on uh, with me, Gaurav. Let me just go across to my colleague uh, uh, Ashwini who is joining us uh, from Jammu of, of our more on this. Ashwini, uh, you, what are the army sources on the ground saying about uh, this uh, about this development? Ha Hafiz Said is barely a kilometer and a half from the international border. How are they preparing to take on this uh, challenge that the Pakistani uh, the 2611 mastermind has thrown at us? 
Yes, Ankit, uh, Army uh, uh, Corps Commander 16 Corps, uh, Lieutenant General K. S. Singh has already said yesterday that uh, there is a movement built up across the border by the terrorist uh, headed by the uh, Hafiz Sayyid. Since Hafiz Sayyid is movement, there is a hundred percent possibility that, that there is a help from the Pakistani army also. They are moving uh, near the border that the Alaska Taiba militants. They are helping and the army is very alert. They are watching their moments mm -hmm. and and uh, without the help of the Pakistan army, they can't move towards the international border because the uh, Punch River, Jam, uh, Tavi River and the other river, they have damaged Pakistani side also. Yeah. That is the reason they are uh, using the Hafiz Sayyid for the reef operation. Absolutely. Uh, uh, let me now go across to my colleague Hamza Ahmed, who is joining us uh, from uh, Pakistan uh, right now. Hamza, you know, uh, Hafiz Saeed, in fact, when this whole flood uh, situation prevailed, when it began, he was the one who, in fact, blamed India for the floods in Pakistan. Now he's seen so close to the border, working with the Pakistani army. What is the situation? What are you hearing from your sources within the establishment in Pakistan? Uh, once again, it seems that uh, double standards being, uh, you know, shown by Pakistan, they're not serious to, for any sort of relationship, normalization with India. Well, uh, you're right in, uh, to the extent that uh, uh, Pakistan uh, Army and Pakistani government, though they have them uh, banned on the books and on paper, you, you have jamaat ud dawa you have lashkar e you have falah e Insanit Foundation also, which is a turned name of jamaat ud dawa into the NGO uh, side of their operations, and that is falah e Insanit Foundation. I was yesterday at uh, very close to the border at uh, Ch Chaprar area, which is about a, a kilometer and a half as per the locals say from the Indian border, mm -hmm. and you could actually see uh, the Indian Indian side of the border for, uh, standing over there. And I could very clearly see uh, Falai Insaniyat Foundation uh, having camps over there. They have had camps since day one of the floods that started. They are not very far away as far as their main station is concerned. That's in Salport, about 20-25 kilometers away from that borderline area. Um, they are the ones who are actually going into the villages and uh, going uh, with their relief aid and relief uh, uh, you know, so-called uh, fundings and uh, rehabilitation for the flood affected right straight into their homes, into the villages. That means that they have got easy penetration into the locals as well and the locals are very happy with what they see. Uh, Hamza, doing very, that. very quickly, this front that Hafiz Saeed has propagated, this NGO business relief work and all that, is it also a suitable hunting ground for uh, probable terrorists, for probable uh, people, candidates uh, for, uh, for, you know, for, for to be sent across the LOC in India? Well, I think it's, it's a very, it's a perfect uh, recruiting uh, procedure in which you have uh, funding uh, from an, an unknown source for the NGO and, uh, you know, human rights activities work, while at the same time you're able to actually penetrate into the locals and, and find out who are the best probable people who you can use to, uh, to move forward, because those are locals who are living there. Uh, so for them to cross the border or knowing the borderline areas where the weak points are is not very difficult. Mm -hmm. So I think it is very critical uh, that uh, uh, Falai and Science Foundation, while it actually stays in the ban list of Pakistan government and the armed forces, yeah. uh, they are very comfortably seen working in tandem uh, with each other with complete friendly terms while all right. uh, uh, with the Pakistan army and also and knowing the fact that Hafez Saeed is also not very far away from Salford, it is a very critical concern on Pakistan side. Absolutely. As Gaurav was saying, a clear and present in danger as far as uh, India is concerned. Uh, enemy number one for India, in fact, half is Said, barely a kilometer and a half away from the LOC, probably just uh, planning another assault uh, on Indian uh, soil. Thank you so much, uh, Gaurav Savant, Hamza Amir, and Ashwani uh, for bringing us all those updates as far as this story is concerned.